So hello everybody. Just a quick, well, kind of quick video today. <laughs> I'm very busy. Uh, so what I basically did, this is, you probably saw the title, I built a uh, spacecraft out of uh, decouplers. And my hope was to go to the moon. You can see the first one here. I built this one first, just as a concept, to see if it worked. And okay, I get, first, just to say something, I cheated these into orbit. I, I'm not glossing over this, I cheated them. Totally cheated. That tank at the back, cheaty, very cheaty, I used infinite fuel, yes, shame on me. But I'm sorry, I had no patience, I wanted to get these into orbit to test if this could actually work. And you'll see soon, uh, you'll see, you'll see what happens. But um, So basically, it's just basically a load of decouplers stacked on top of each other in different formats, and the staging is there, it took me a while to stage this properly. So we'll detach the uh, the tank there, we'll detach it. And we will fire the decouplers, maybe. Yes, here we go. This is a post commentary, by the way, because I recorded my voice doing this, but I, I forgot to... And the sound quality is terrible for some reason when I'm recording live. So, yeah, post commentary. Uh, not that my pre-commentary is any good. So look at those rings. <laughs> those rings are pretty cool. I like those rings. It does make some pretty nice, pretty nice stuff in the sky. So yeah, we're going to be using this to try and get our our orbit up. Again, I originally wanted to use this to go to the moon and back, but not land on it. No, not land on it. Uh, I wasn't going to do the whole thing from the launch pad. Uh, that would be absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy, given that you'll see why this is very difficult. So that's our apps and peri apps there. We'll see if we can beat those, or get them marginally higher. So, yep, let's start decoupling these, hitting spacebar like the mad person that we are. Crazy person, the absolute mad person. Why am I doing this? I have no idea. So, decouple, decouple. Let's do that. Yeah, it's, it's getting some pretty nice patterns, though, isn't it, in fairness? Look at that. Oh, wow. That's, that's pretty cool now, in fairness. But, yeah, here we go. Almost gone. So, what happens is, I don't believe that it's possible to build a craft big enough to go any measurable distance using these decouplers. By the way, I used these particular decouplers because they have the strongest ejection force, which is 600? I could be wrong. I think it's 600. Don't quote me on that. But um, yes, as far as I know, it's got the strongest uh, decoupler force of any of the other decouplers. So I had this whole plan in my head. I was going to use smaller decouplers to trim my orbit. I thought they were much more powerful than they actually were. But uh, yes, so we've used up all those, so let's check our orbit. Decent, I have to say. It's uh, higher than it was, not much. So we'll switch to the bigger one. You're gonna like this! <laughs> this one's pretty big. Again, I cheated this into orbit because it's far... It's far, far, far too... <laughs> big to launch. It's okay, it's not that big. I'm sure someone else could build bigger. Um, but I'm pretty happy with it, as it is, so we'll wait for the black screen to load here. I thought this crashed my game, to be honest, but it didn't. And my horrible spelling of decoupler, I think that's wrong. So here we go. Isn't she incredible? Again, cheaty engine strapped on the back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shame on me, shame on me. Anyway, so we might time accelerate into orbit here, or into, you know, where the sun is, um, so as we can actually see the spacecraft. <laughs> Because, you know, I'm sure you want to see it, because it's such an incredible piece of Kerbal engineering. Um, I'm sure it is. I have no idea. I'd like to hear your predictions. Not predictions. You know, comments on it. Yeah, yeah, words, words. I'd love to hear your words. Words on the subject. Words. Words, words, words. Right. So, <laughs> yeah, this is pretty cool looking, isn't it? It's like a big... I was going to say starfish, but it's not really... So let's turn the whole thing around to the Apple apps. If you're turning stuff, by the way, um, maybe switch off the SAS, because I always forget to do that, because it holds you back while you're turning. Especially turning big stuff. If you turn it off and you turn your spacecraft, it's going to keep turning like that. Uh, if you have your SAS on, it's going to try and stabilize it back to its original position, so you don't want that. So what we're doing now is we're... Yeah, we're moving it around. <laughs> or I'm, I'm moving it around. Not that there's multiple people here. Moving it with me, holding my hands and everything. Nope, just me. Just me. Just spore guy. Anyway. Yes. Turning, turning. Oh, wow, look at that. This could be much bigger, by the way, if you really wanted to. But you'll see why that's not really feasible. Or 
it doesn't really have a point, is what I mean. So yeah, we'll check our app. We'll have some hairy apps there. Yeah, come back. Check it again. So, just making sure. Now, I think it was two three eight two eight three something like that. <coughs> so, decouple these Chihi engines, and uh, I'll turn off the GUI here, and we'll start. Boom! One decouplers, two decouplers, many decouplers. Yes. So you'll start to quickly see why this is not a very feasible form of transportation in the Kerbal universe. <laughs> it's interesting as a concept. Um, you can get pretty far on Kerbin with just a couple. You can get to the sea. I've seen people go to the sea. Uh, the ocean near the space center. But you can't get much further. I tried to build the smallest, smallest, weightless spacecraft. I wanted to have a Kerbal in it, though, to make it a bit more... You know, but it really doesn't matter to be honest how much weight you have on it because it's still going to go the same. Oh my god, look at those rings! <laughs> it's pretty incredible. It's like someone just poured a load of. someone a, gi a giant opened their bag of onion rings in the middle of space. Never a good thing to do in space. You saw that episode of The Simpsons, didn't you? I'm sure you did. Anyway, where Homer was in space. <laughs> I love that episode. Right. So we're still decoupling everything. And it's getting faster as the uh, as the bits fly off. You see, there's like these kind of clamps holding each column on. The columns are smaller, so as we get more quote unquote thrust out of these, um, it's not really thrust, is it? It's more d delta V. I don't really know what it's called. Is it called explosive power? Explosive power. Yes, six hundred somethings of explosive power. I'm yeah, six hundred somethings. So off we go, more decouplers, more, oh, Jesus, there goes the next one. And those bits are coming off as well, because I'm trying to decrease the weight as much as possible. And this, this didn't take as long as you might think to stage, actually. You'd think, you'd think it would take forever to stage, but it didn't. There was a trick I used to... That's pretty incredible, isn't it? It's like a comet. Uh, <laughs> a comet's tail that's made of rings. Rings, rings, rings. Loads of onion rings. So... Yeah, I might use one of those for the video thumbnail. I suppose you already know by now. Uh, anyway, so I keep saying anyway. That's a terrible way to change the conversation. Always remember that. Just mention something different because if you say ah, anyway, then people will know that you're trying to change the conversation. <coughs> and I'm try I'm doing it now. I'm trying. Right. Let's get back to this. So we're nearly out of decouplers. And yeah, <laughs> it didn't get us very far. That's the best design I could think of to do that because you're getting more thrust, I think. Now, if anyone can do it better than this, I welcome, I welcome you to do it, because, dear God, this is madness. If anyone can build one big enough to actually go to, you know, to the moon, <laughs> or even get into a much higher Kerbin orbit, I welcome you. Please do it. Please link it to me. I would love to see that. But uh, I just don't have the time to build something that big, or the patience, or the computer, for that matter. So yeah, it didn't increase our orbit very much. Only about 200, maybe. 200,000 meters. Not the best. But, um, you know. It was more of a kind of an experiment, really, to see if I could actually do this. And I had huge plans of how to get there, as I said earlier, but... Nope. Uh, that's unfortunate. Oh well, so... Well, I hope you enjoyed that. More to come, hopefully, if I can think of anything else. But, uh, yep. So I'm Sporeguy64. Thanks for watching, and bye.